are Matt and Rachel getting engaged? Was Tasha pushed out of Bachelor Nation? What show is Tyler Cameron joining? We are here to break down the biggest Bachelor news stories of the week. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Shared News. We're gonna be getting into all the latest tea in Bachelor Nation, but before we do that, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, joined by Gianna Gravelisi and Fiona Zaring. Guys, how are you doing today? How was your week? How are your weekend plans looking? Let us know what's up. Oh my God, I feel like I'm exhausted this week from all the celebrity tea. I feel like it's just been one thing <laughs> after another after another. I mean, I'm personally keeping up with the Britney drama on top of the Bachelor drama. Mm. So I've had a headache all week. I have no weekend plans other than to sleep and eat and be merry and that's that. Gianna, you and I are literally the same person. I have no plans this weekend, and I have been excited about it all week long. I'm also with you on the drama. It has been crazy across the board this week, and I know our very own Zachary got into some drama, but I just can't wait to talk about you guys. Yeah, you know, Tia Booth, I mean, she kind of came for me, um, and we're going to talk a little bit about it when we get to all the Bachelor podcast news, but um, you know, you know, I got to stand my ground. I don't like that. So we'll talk about it. Um, but we first have to get into Matt and Rachel because they have sparked engagement rumors that they could possibly be getting engaged. Matt and Rachel are currently vacationing in Nima Colon, Pennsylvania, where their season of The Bachelor was filmed. Rachel has been touring us around the resorts on her Instagram stories as she shares all the crazy and funny moments from that season of The Bachelor. She like showed where they went on their first date. She went into the bathroom where Victoria infamously was crying on the floor and her bra straps were showing. And Matt's mom is also there. So do we think that this was a trip for nostalgia or is he bringing her there to get engaged? I mean, this honestly looks like an engagement to me. Like at first I was thinking, okay, maybe they're just doing it for nostalgia, like you said, or for fun. Like maybe it's their anniversary. Like I don't think we know the exact date of their dating anniversary, so it could have been that. But when I saw that Matt's mom was there, I was just like, hold the phone. Like why would she be on this vacation with them? Like it doesn't seem like they're on a family vacation at all. Um, and I just also am dying at these cute videos that they're sharing, especially the one where like Matt literally pulled out a Nerf gun and started shooting her in like <laughs> a, the lobby of a hotel or something. Like it was actually hysterical. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're having a great time. You know, Rachel even posted that sound on TikTok that was like, can we go back to the place where we first met? So it seems like a romantic, like nostalgic and I wouldn't be surprised if we see photos of him down on one knee, you know? I, I just, it all signs are pointing to that, in my opinion. So I don't know if that's a reach on our, our part, but I mean, Fiona, what do you think? Well, it's funny you say that because initially I was like, no, this is just a trip for nostalgia, sort of same as you, because I don't think Matt had the most amazing time on his season. <laughs> like, it was really tough, especially all of the fallout. I know he has an okay relationship with Bachelor Nation, but I kind of felt like for his engagement moment, he wouldn't want to lean into Bachelor nostalgia. He would more want to celebrate the independent relationship that they forged away from all of that. But just like you, it's when I found out his mom was there that things really did change in my head. I started thinking this could be a proposal. And at the end of the day, they will never be able to change the way that they met or where it all began. So if he wanted to take it back to their very first date spot to propose to her, it's got to be this hotel. So I would not be shocked if they get engaged. That's a really good point, Fiona, because they have separated themselves from Bachelor Nation and have made this independent and as you said, relationship. They don't do podcasts. They don't get involved in any Bachelor drama. I don't even think they watch the show. So <laughs> that's definitely like a good point. And I honestly feel like they're not going to get engaged, even though I want them to. And I love them. Um, and I love seeing the stories of them because Matt has such a funny personality and he really got the short end of the stick on his season. And I've been telling you guys this for so long. Like Matt is so funny. But I don't think that they're going to get engaged, even though I wish they would. I think it's just like for nostalgia and for fun. And it has been a year since Matt's season aired. So maybe they're going back there 
to kind of just celebrate, you know, a year anniversary. And then they thought mm-hmm. to bring his mom because we know he's really close with his mom. So we'll have to see. They're still there right now. Gianna, you live on the East Coast. Have you been to Nima Colon? No. When you said Nima Colon, I thought you were talking about a body part, to be honest with you. I <laughs> did not. Like, the city is just the name. It doesn't ring a bell to me still. Um, I haven't even been to Pennsylvania, to be honest with you. But what? I'm like, should I just take a drive down there and just find them? Like, I said I have no plans this weekend, so I think I'm... You know, those are my new plans. I'm driving down there and I need to get all the tea. So maybe Period. that'll happen. No, I, me and Fiona are in LA and I've been wanting to go to Palm Springs where Tasha's season was filmed. What was it called again? The resort? Like King yes. Tet, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fiona, we might have to take a trip there because I've been dying to see that place and where everything was filmed. Um, but we yeah. will keep you posted and let us know in the comments if you guys think Matt and Rachel are going to get engaged. I mean, you never know. We could find out in literally like he could be proposing today or tomorrow or maybe in a couple of weeks or another year. We really don't know, but we will be watching them to see. Um, but moving on, big news this week with Tasha. It was revealed that she is no longer going to be working for Bachelor Nation as she is leaving the podcast, Clickbait and Bachelor Happy Hour for good without a clear reasoning why. Many fans like myself are speculating if she was pushed out of the franchise because her and Zach broke up or if she decided to leave because she was forced to talk about the breakup at the Men Tell All. And maybe she's just too big of a celebrity now and doesn't need the show. I'm really curious to hear um, both of your thoughts on this. Uh, I just feel like Tasha is such a strong, independent woman. You know, she has really grown since starting in Bachelor Nation. Um, and I've said this in other videos before, and I'll say it again. I think staying in Bachelor Nation just would have been more toxic for her, honestly. And I feel like not only was she forced to talk about her breakup on the men tell all, but she was would have been prompted to keep talking about it over and over and over on the podcast, I feel like, if she were to stay. So I don't think that it was a decision in which, um, you know, other people were forcing her to go off or in, and separate herself. I literally think that she's doing it for herself. And like you said, Zach, you know, not that she's this huge, big celebrity, but I feel like she's a favorite among Bachelor Nation mm-hmm. and she deserves to spread her wings to other places. I would love to see her even like on E! News even because she, and as we know, she was an aspiring journalist just like the three of us. So it's like, you know, she can she can do better things than just sit there and talk about all things Bachelor Nation. Like we should invite her on Shared News to see if she wants to talk <laughs> about other celebrity tea and, you know, host other events on her own. Mm-hmm. I think that she's... She is going to have a bright future ahead of her. And I think, unfortunately, it had to start with separating herself from Bachelor Nation. So I'm not seeing any, like, drama and negativity. I don't want to speculate. I literally think she was just like, okay, I'm all set moving forward. Like like Matt and Rachel, they've separated themselves mm-hmm. and they're making their own lives. So I think Tasha's just doing the same thing and all power to her. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, Gianna. I honestly am curious if it comes down to, like, at this point, Tasha just hosted two seasons of The Bachelorette where she was in a much more visible and probably higher paid position than she's in Mm. doing these podcasts. So I think it honestly could have come down to, like, hey, I've got a lot of offers on the table that are significantly more lucrative, and I just held a much bigger role within this franchise specifically. So I'm not really feeling just like going back to sitting down recording my podcast with grocery store joe like i want bigger and better (laughs) and if you can't offer it to me financially or like you know job wise then no hard feelings or maybe hard feelings i guess there's no way for us to really know (laughs) but i'm gonna go and take my talents elsewhere and i do really like that for her i also think that after she did take on such a substantial role and really save the franchise. I could see her being like, I'm done making my relationship a cash grab for you guys. Like we're not going to now make my entire identity within this franchise, my heartbreak and you know how I'm rebounding and how I'm doing. Like, I don't need that narrative. I can go do something Mm -hmm. way bigger and way better. So I just hope she's happy wherever she is. The worst case scenario is they kicked her to the curb and she's somewhere really upset. That would just break my heart. 
For sure, for sure. I think she kind of decided to walk away too because as you mentioned, she was so involved in Bachelor Nation for the past two years, becoming the Bachelorette, taking over for Claire, and then being the host of back-to-back -back seasons. She probably just got so exhausted with the franchise and then being at like the top of it. Like everything was like, what's Tasha doing? What's Tasha saying? She became so scrutinized and watched that it was probably so overwhelming for her. Plus her breakup with Zach probably brings up, you know, some sad or sour memories at this point. We're assuming we don't know what happened between them still, and we will probably never know. But I think that she kind of just needs to separate herself. Um, but this just feels very permanent that she's leaving the podcast. And I'm concerned that she won't be back to host The Bachelorette this upcoming season. And I kind of feel like she's gone from the show for good. I hope she at least makes an appearance one day on like one of the podcasts or something, or at least comes to host a group date. But I kind of think she's gone. And I don't think that um, she's going to be back to host The Bachelorette. Gianna, do you think Caitlin will do it by herself? Or do you think Jesse Palmer will host that as well? Uh, honestly, I feel like they're going to do Jesse Palmer just because like why have him host The Bachelor like when they had Tasha and Caitlyn anyway like if anything they would have had Caitlyn hosting it by herself during Clayton season if they weren't trying mm. to kind of move away from those two um so that's why I'm also like it, this was probably you know Tasha leaving was probably in her head maybe even before her split with Zach maybe that's why they didn't host Clayton season two like it could have just been a like it, it doesn't even have to do with the breakup. So for all we know, um, but I think they'll stick with Jesse Palmer or, you know, keep on using Bachelor alums every single season. They'll do like a rotating hosting thing. I know we've said before, like they need to bring us in at some point. So I don't know how we can make that happen. But like we're ready. All three of us are ready to host a season of The Bachelor or Bachelorette. And I think that we would do a great job. And, I, you know. Zach, you're more so established in the Bachelor Nation community, uh, probably. So, you know, I'm rooting for you all the way. I am already, position. like, Gianna, I'm already <laughs> applying to be the bartender in Paradise. Like, it's my application was already sent in. So stay, stay tuned because you really never know. Um, but we know with the Bachelor um, podcast, we actually did get a little update and clap back, clap back from Miss Tia Booth who is now permanently taking over Tasha's spot on clickbait as Serena P has taken over Tasha's spot on happy hour. So Tia saw my TikTok with the theory that they pushed her out because of all the Zach drama. They kind of got what they needed from her. And she wrote on Bachelor Nation Scoop that the person, this is what she said, the person that made this video is not affiliated with BN and doesn't know what he is talking about. Referring to me, um, so Tia shaded me and then I clapped back in another video saying, sorry you don't like my opinion and you are right Tia, I don't work for the show, but I make a lot of money talking about it. Boom. And then she actually responded in my comments and said, your last comment made me laugh. Um, I appreciate the hustle. And then we had a little um, DM exchange. So do we think Tia is being a little salty or was I just running my mouth? Fiona, what do you think? Well, I feel like there is, not just with you, not just with us, there's a lot of people out there talking their Bachelor Nation theories and there's got to be a love-hate relationship with that within the people in the franchise, right? Because if we're not talking about them, if we're not speculating about them, then who cares, right? Like they need fans and fan theorists and commentators to care about them and to care about the show because that's what keeps them relevant. But also every once in a while, theory might rub you the wrong way. And that's where the hate side of the relationship comes in. I think she probably felt like she didn't want people to believe, right? That she came in after after Tasha was pushed out because Tasha is beloved, right? That would be a bad look mm. for her. So I think she just kind of, you know, threw you some shade. But I really appreciate her, you know, kind of stepping back and being like, okay, no, appreciate the hustle. Gotta love what you do because I don't know where any of us would be without you, Zachary. So obviously Thank you gotta you. keep doing what you're doing and she's just gonna have to get on board. That's what I have to say. Thank you. Yeah, well, she did give me a follow back on TikTok. So we're now mutual. So all is good. And I like that she can take a joke because I've shaded her a few times on my TikTok, maybe on here and kind of said that she's chummy with the producers. And she can take a joke. So I kind of like Tia now. But Gianna, I know you're my girl. So what are your thoughts on this? 
Um, obviously I am team Zachary, like without a doubt, but I do have to say, like, if I were in Tia's position going into this, you know, seeing as she is taking Tasha's spot and like Fiona said, like, Zach, you're not the only one speculating why Tasha is gone. So I feel like Tia and Tasha have both been reading these headlines, you know, like Tasha is getting pushed out and Tia is like uh -huh. replacing her. And it's been getting reported in more of a negative light and it's having like a negative connotation rather than just like, Hey, Tia's stepping in. Like it's, it, there's no bad blood between Tia and Tasha. So putting myself in Tia's shoes, I'd be stressed, you know, like I would be like, I don't want people to think that like me and Tasha are beefing. Cause in reality, they're probably really good friends or at least great acquaintances. Um, yeah. so, you know, if, if I were her, I probably would have clapped back at you too, to be like, <sighs> This person doesn't know what he's talking about. But like I said, yeah. I am Team Zachary. Of course, I'm glad you and Tia are on the same page now. But I just think, like, obviously, it's it's this whole, like, the entertainment industry is wild to me. And, like, our jobs are so crazy because, you know, we get knocked down and we get those comments being like, you guys literally just sit there and talk about other people's lives for a living. And it's like, yes. That's what we do. That has been an actual job for for centuries now. So it's like mm -hmm. we're not doing anything wrong. These people aren't doing anything wrong. It's literally just the way of the industry and like no hard feelings to anybody. Like we're just people and they're just people as well. So that's, exactly. we just got to remind ourselves that at the end of the day. Exactly. And I tell that to the girls that I talk to on The Bachelor. I'm like, if I'm ever shady towards you, it's because I need to give my commentary based on the show. It's not personal. If I ever meet you in real life, or if we even have a DM exchange, like I'm, it's like there really has to be no bad blood. But I'm gonna get shady, and that is what I do around these streets on TikTok, on shared news. So Tia probably was just a little sensitive because of everything you guys mentioned with like maybe she's like you know stealing Tasha's spot. Um, but also like we still don't know why Tasha left. So maybe if they gave us an exact reason why Tasha left the podcast then we wouldn't have to speculate and there wouldn't be this conversation in the first place, Tia. So, I mean, like, we just still don't know why Tasha left. Gianna, will we ever know why Tasha left or is she just gonna really go into just fashion and other type of influencing? I really feel like Tasha will say something, but it won't be this big grand announcement, you know, like she's already keeping it low key. I think if we get anything from her, it's going to be like one of those Instagram posts that just have the text being like, Hey guys, like I know a lot's being said, but I'm just like moving on to bigger and better or like a post with some inspirational quote about like her next chapter in life. Like, I don't think it's going to be something worth talking about and speculating about further. I really think if she says anything, it's going to be short and sweet. Or like you said, she might even just move on without saying anything. And, you know, I don't think that she really owes an answer to anybody about exactly why she's moving on. Of course, we all want that mm -hmm. answer. And like, like you said, we wouldn't be speculating have we had an answer. But yeah, mm -hmm. I just think, you know, it's her business. And, you know, we, we're going to continue to support her and whatever she does next. Yeah. And we just yeah. stand Tasha so hard. And there's big things for her. Um, kind of like when Rachel Lindsay left the Bachelor podcast, she's doing really big things now. Her book is just coming out. So um, I would love a Tasha memoir. Oh my God, Fiona, can you picture a Tasha memoir? Maybe in like two years, that will get a lot of buzz, like almost as much as Hannah Brown or more. Literally, it's so funny. I stand Tasha the most to the point of like, I have had no interest in sitting down and reading these Bachelor Nation books. I always read like all of the 10 most shocking moments, the synopsis, mm -hmm. the spark notes. I'll read them will. for like, you. I, yes, I care enough, but I don't know that I've sat down and really been interested in cracking open someone's book. I think, I think Tasha might be able to get me to read her book. I'm telling you honestly, if she does it, you might get me to actually purchase a copy. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, well, let us know what you guys think about all of that in the, in the comments down below. But we're going to continue on to our third story that Tyler Cameron reveals. He will be on a new competition show, Dirty Dancing, where contestants will be acting out scenes from the original movie as well as learning dance routines. Some of the cast includes the Bella Twins, Lonnie Love, Corbin Blue, and a few others. And there are also rumors Tyler will be joining Celebrity Big Brother, which is set to start filming February 1st. So this Dirty Dancing show is already wrapped. It's already done filming. It's not going to interfere with his schedule if he is going on Big Brother. 
Fiona, is Tyler doing too much? Why couldn't he just be The Bachelor? Why does he want to do all these other shows? You know, I don't know. It's a good question because Bachelor Nation has been dying for him to be The Bachelor for such a long time. We've kind of speculated before as why, like, even though we all think he would be an amazing Bachelor, why it just might not work. He is such a celebrity in his own right. He literally dated Gigi Hadid, even if it was for five minutes, right? Like, going yeah. into a show where Tyler Cameron is The Bachelor for the right reasons at this point would almost be impossible. So I really feel like we may never get that title. They, like, missed the window, right? He should have done it yeah. right when we all fell in love with him. Um, so now I feel like he's just trying to figure out, okay, A, like they all are, how do I stay relevant? How do I make that money? And if he can't do it in the show, in the world that kind of initially gave him this huge burst of fame, then there are a lot of other reality shows that are willing to capitalize on his celebrity and probably offering him even more money than the franchise mm -hmm. would. So I just think he's trying to play the game. He's trying to stay relevant the best he can. Because let's face it, unless he went to paradise, right, where everyone else mm -hmm. is kind of a celebrity in their own right, even there it would be tough for him. But there's no way girls are just going to go on The Bachelor for the chance to meet this man. They've mm -hmm. already decided they're in love with him. They already think he can make mm -hmm. them famous. It would be too messy. Um, Tyler as The Bachelor would be perfect, but maybe give him like three years when he's actually ready for marriage. And like, maybe he's like <laughs> a little bit less relevant than he is now. But I mean, I would love to see Tyler on my TV screens all the time. Gianna, are you ex more excited to see him on Dirty Dancing or Big Brother? Are you gonna watch either of those? Oh my God, I will be watching both. At first I was like, Dirty dancing, like why? Like we already have Dancing with the Stars. We don't need another love, celebrity dance competition. I, you know me, I am such a Dancing with the Stars stan. Like I love it. Um, but nonetheless, I mean Corbin Blue is there too. Of course, I'll be watching. Um, and I will be watching Celebrity Big Brother because talk about that lineup. I mean, besides Tyler Cameron, which is amazing, mm -hmm. Celebrity Big Brother this year. I mean, we have Neo. We have it's an insane lineup. I can't remember everyone off of the top of my head, but I remember how excited I was reading it. Um, and you know, you also have to think about like Bachelor Nation can only pay their alumni for so long and they can only pay them so much like I mean he's been in the franchise for a while now and like Fiona was saying like he is his own celebrity and like when you're that celebrity slash influencer like you gotta chase your bag like whether it's a sponsorship whether it's going on this show like you you just gotta do all the things you can do so if I were in his shoes I would take every single opportunity that came to me so like do the dancing show like why not like do celebrity big brother who cares like i don't think he's doing too much i think he has every right to be doing whatever he wants and i will be watching both of these shows absolutely 100 <laughs> percent. i'm nervous how he's gonna fare in big brother because i feel like he might be such a target because he's so likable and big brother is a doggy dog world like you got to be really strategic and like fight to win like you're not just gonna sit around with your good looks and get that title at the end of the game. So I just don't know how he's going to fare in Big Brother. Fiona, are you a Big Brother fan? How do you think Tyler will do in the house? You know, I'm going to totally break your heart. I am <laughs> not someone who has historically tuned into Big Brother, but I know that that is a mistake. I know that that is embarrassing, and I need to get on it. So I think that he might struggle. I feel like even with my limited knowledge, I get where you're going there. It might not be the perfect fit for him. We'll have to see how he does. Maybe we'll see a whole new side of him, though. You never know. That's true. I feel like we see a lot of, like, celebrities or reality stars. We do see a new side of them on Big Brother, a more, like, vulnerable side. I mean, they film you 24-7, so it's very different than The Bachelor. Um, but I will be tuning into that. I love a good competition show, which is why I love The Bachelor, too, because the competition. And speaking of The Bachelor, we have to talk about Clayton and this season because the show is returning to ABC on Monday after a week off because of dang football. So I want to go down the line, your thoughts, predictions, what do you think is going to happen on next week's episode? Oh boy. You know, it's so funny because we've only had one week off and I'm already like forgetting <laughs> the girls' names, names because it was only episode two. Like we, like I'm still, my brain is still soaking in everything. So I'm like that one week off felt like an eternity to me. Um, I, I did not do care I need about to remind football. you? Well, I was going to say Cassidy, 
is going home a thousand percent because like she was flaunting that rose around and like we saw her in the preview being like i have a rose he can't take it back because i have it in my hand right now and it's like yes he can and clayton even asked jesse you know has anyone taken a rose back before so i totally think she's going home you know reminder we did not get a rose ceremony so this episode is gonna have to start with the rose ceremony and all the drama leading up to it um yeah she's totally going home and then other villain there What's her face? Shanae. She is staying because we've been seeing her in the previews as well. I would love for her to go home, but she is staying and her and Elizabeth are going to continue to beef. And I think that's going to be our our drama for the next coming weeks. And I think that's just going to be it. I don't know if we're going to get any other plot lines besides her and Elizabeth, well, to be I'm honest. I'm sure with there that. will be. There are always oh, new there plot to. lines on The Bachelor. I know Elizabeth is ready. I've been watching her Instagram stories and she is ready for the show to get back on. I think she really wants her Ooh. justice after the ADHD comments. And Shanae has not said anything about the ADHD comments on her social media, which I believe at this point, she's probably going to address it next episode. So that's why she had to stay silent because, you know, when there, do- when there is something that happens on the show that's like bigger than the show and it's something serious, you can take to your social media and kind of break contract a little bit. But Shanae has not been able to address anything. So Fiona, what are your kind of thoughts on Shanae and all the drama? We haven't had you on all week. So like, who is your favorites? Who do you think is going to get Clayton's heart? Do you have a top four? Let us know. It's ranted away. Okay, so here's the thing, you guys. I don't have a top. I like feel like usually I can pick my top girls or my top guys so quickly. I am lost so far. Maybe it has something to do with the downtime, but I do not have a locked and loaded top four prediction for you all. There are a lot of girls that I like kind of like, you know, that I like think are sweet, but the standout, like the only thing that really hooked me that I could not pull my eyes from was Cassidy and Shanae and their absolute insanity. Clayton is like fine. I'm not mad at him. I'm not in love with him. Like he's fine. But those two Mm -hmm. women absolutely were the only standouts for me in these first few episodes. I think they gave us a lot of really entertaining drama. I totally agree with you, Gianna. I think Cassidy is going to be kicked to the curb so fast. He is literally going to take a rose back from her, which you got to give him credit. They told us we'd see things that have never happened before. And sometimes I think they're lying, but we are going to get a big twist early on. Uh, I hope we see some more chaos from Shanene. I really do. And honestly, more than anything, I like hope to fall in love with someone in week three. Like whether it's a girl or whether it's Clayton, I need something to root for <laughs> other than the villain. Jesse. And I feel like we're going to get that this week. <laughs> what did you say? You're going to fall in love with Jesse on week three, Fiona. I think that is the best <laughs> chance for you um, with these options here. I mean, Clayton is very meh to me too. I don't love him. I don't hate him. He's just, mm-hmm. he's just there. I really like Teddy a lot. I like Gabby a lot. Um, I have a feeling Rachel is going to go really far. And I mean, I'm excited for this season to pick up again. It's going to get crazy on Monday. I already know the girls are ready. So we'll be back next week to talk about The Bachelor and all of the news in celebrity and reality TV culture. So let us know your thoughts on all the Bachelor Nation news of the week down below in the comments. And before you go, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, joined by the lovely Gianna Gravelisi and Fiona Zaring. Our social media handles are on the screen right now. So be sure to come give us a follow, come say hello. And thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.